Okay, so hello and welcome to a bit of a, a different video, a bit of a my thoughts, but it's not really my thoughts. I'm actually having a, an upgrade today. Um, and it won't actually be today, but I'm going to see about an upgrade. Um, I'm heading over to Oak Tree, uh, Oak Tree Motor Homes, which is the home of EcoTree um, lithium batteries. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade my leisure battery to a lithium battery because lithium is the future. Lithium is the way to go. And my leisure battery is rubbish. Even though I paid half decent money for it and it's an AGM, um, I need to change it. So I'll see you when I get there and we'll uh, see if we can explain all about it. And Mrs. C's with me. I've got Mrs. C here. She's uh, ticking along and I'm going the wrong direction because yeah. I'm not looking at me sat nav. Me sat -nav. Oh no, my sat nav wants me to go this way. That's right, it was. Um, so yeah, all good. See you at Oak Tree. And take the first exit. So on the way over there, um, one thing I would like to say about these batteries is they are a little bit more dearer. They cost a little bit more than the normal um, lead acid batteries, AGM batteries. Uh, they do cost more, but this is one thing I've got to explain to Mrs. C on why we're doing this and what the benefit's going to be. Uh, because she doesn't quite understand why I'm spending more money on a battery that I've already got doing a job that it's sort of doing. She understands that the battery we've got isn't brilliant, it's always running down. So I just need to convince her. I would have thought it was more a problem with the solar panels, not the battery. So uh, The solar is an issue as well. Um, I've got an issue with my solar panels. Um, I'm using a Ring uh, DC30, which does MPPT and B2B. Uh, so it does both. And I don't think it's doing anything on my solar properly. Um, it's, it's always reading a sleep or it's always reading an error. So I'm going to be putting a Victron uh, smart solar MPPT in and I'm also going to put a battery monitor in as well so uh, I will talk to you a bit more about it when we get there though at the moment we've just got to negotiate this motorway After and try and get in the right, right lane on the roundabout and, take and the uh, exit. Yeah, make sure we get to the right place so Paul probably spends his whole life replacing things that perhaps don't need replacing what Somebody's may have told him that it's, um, you know, well, you've, you've got to do this, mate. It's, you know, this is better. And Paul being Paul, he tends to just follow. So I can't get my head round why he wants to replace. But I get the batteries run down because all batteries run down. They don't I mean flipping out. We have Fuji cameras. <laughs> Lithium's the future, babe. Lithium's the future. So I'm going to give these blokes a bit of a grilling. I'm, I'm, when it comes to spending money, me, Paul and myself are complete polar opposites. He'll spend it, I'll save it. Um, so I am going to give these blokes a proper grilling. You do know that, don't you? They've, uh -huh. got, they've got to convince me why this battery is better. So, watch this space. You don't have to speak. <laughs> Shake your head if you like. Just don't do that. Costly thing, yeah. Plenty of Chinese in here. <laughs> I'm sure that's the PV there. One point eight volts. The, the biggest question for me is obviously, we you know we've already discussed that Paul likes to spend money. 
a lot of it has been a waste of money. Stuff that he's bought has just been like he's bought pigs in pokes, left, right, and centre. Like well, the two dodgy solar panels. On the, the two roof dodgy of my solar van. panels. But <laughs> you know, after listening to the conversation about the solar panels and the wiring in the van, that that's an issue, a little bit of an issue. Um, so for me, before he goes and you know invests in something that he's convincing me again is like the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah. For me, it's like the the performance of the battery. How long is it going to last? You know, what makes this battery completely different to the one that's already in there? Yeah. I'm not going to give any names or any no, brand no. names okay. away or anything, because I, I wouldn't even know anyway, to be honest. Um, the one that's in there, it's an AGM uh, 120 milliamp. Yeah. yeah. Amp hour, yeah. 120 amp hour. And for like, if, if we did go off grid, if the, we had no sun, like there would be nothing in Scotland, what's the performance of this battery? You know, what's yeah. it, how's it going to perform in comparison to the other batteries? Okay. You know, before we can, just for the fact that we now know there's a little bit of an issue with the solar panels. Yes. Well, I suppose it's a bit of an example that we briefly discussed out at the van that, again, your camera equipment, you know, your own, if you buy cheap, buy twice, the old saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's quality. I mean, I'll, I'll rewind a little bit. I mean, I've been in the motor business 25 years, we've got a fantastic reputation, you know. I don't need hassle selling cheap Chinese rubbish. Yeah. It's not what I want. You know, we've got two quality brands of battery that we deal with. We've got a six year guarantee, we'll last 10, 12 years, probably plus. We supply the NHS ambulance service. Uh, commercial people, we've got food chiller vans running around London being abused daily, constantly flat yeah. charged and mm -hmm. cycled. Um, I think it's 400 track and trace vehicles out there with our batteries on. Uh, we fitted hundreds of our own customers, as you've seen with our YouTube people, and they have stood the test of time. And touch wood, I haven't had uh, thus far one battery failure, which is a big statement. I don't know many people that could say that. Yeah, yeah. We've spec these and the BMS to our spec and what what we wanted. Um, I get offered cheap Chinese battery emails daily, but I don't want the hassle because. Um, you know, you get what you pay for. Yeah, you do, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, like I say, convincing my wife why I'm spending this was more of an issue. Yeah. Because they are dearer than, like, my standard AGM, I think that was of course. about 180 quid, I think, when I got that. We can, so. I mean, a bit to show us how thousand words, I'll show you something in a minute, but, okay, so, lithium is in everything that's quality now that's rechargeable. Yes, yeah, From yeah. your phone to your laptop to whatever. The new cars, even. Yeah, new, mm. new cars. You couldn't have Teslas and, and these electric cars without lithium. Its power to weight ratio is more than double, so you felt the weight of the battery, it yeah, less than half. It's a lot lighter. It costs <clears> about four times as much as a good AGM or, or whatever, maybe five times as much. That's your initial outlay, but that's not the value. That's why you've probably got Canon, Sony, or things like <laughs> so that. I took that on board. <laughs> she she took that on board. I did yeah. take that on board. You've got, you've got a Canon camera, you could yeah. have bought a cheap, cheap one. Yeah, yeah. But, so, like a Nikon. We. Uh, we, we don't profess to be the cheapest. We're not, certainly not expensive by a long, most expensive by a long way. But we are a a long, a long term business. You can drive if you had a problem with your battery, even if you order it online. But we are here. You can drive into mm -hmm. us and come in and see me. My office is in the front and say, Rob, this isn't right. We're not somebody on Amazon or eBay that you send a message to. You might get a reply, might not. Yeah. And you would save hundred, hundred and fifty pounds by buying from Amazon or eBay to a non descript company mm -hmm. um, like I say the other thing is is that we have we do supply we've supplied the NHS we've supplied various other big commercial people that use these commercially far more than you'll ever do and they haven't failed and we are answerable because of we are a long term established business we're not just a quick e mm -hmm. Amazon shop yeah. Yeah. who isn't traceable yeah. is we can give you a lot more advice and help because we fit these and so if you ring us up we've got a bit of support you know, if anything goes wrong, we'll talk you through it if we can. Yeah, I'll and you know, phone again, people. problems you've been with 25 years of, in the, in the yeah. business, you've seen different it, it problems. It lends itself occur, nicely, yeah. the other business, the Motone side, to fitting to out. what can happen and how people. it happens, yeah. yeah. And it's a proper guarantee because we are here, we've been around 25, we're not going anywhere. Yeah. That is the kind of security and value. I mean, you know, we're not Audi, we're more like Marks and Spencers, if you mm. like. That's how we feel mm. because there's no quibble return policy. If there's any issues, we, you know, we would sort it. Yeah. That's the value. If you're spending four hundred pound on a battery, or with ours maybe six hundred or six nine nine, but if that four hundred one goes and you have any problems, it's down the drain with ours. At least you can, yeah, you know, we can sort it out for you or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it will usually be the actual equipment it's attached to, not the battery. Yes, it will be, yeah. because thus far we haven't had a, had one failure. So, yeah. um, and the money is in the BMS as well, and the quality of the BMS. Um, 
What's the BMS? That is the built-in battery management system, yep. which is like a computer in the top that looks after the battery. If you were to put a spanner across the terminals, it would switch off. All right. A bit like an RCD yeah, yeah. switch in your house. I've done that in the past. Yeah. It won't work. <laughs> when it blows spot. everything yeah, out. No, yeah. It will just reset. Uh, and then you've also got all the other parameters like spikes. Uh, if it gets too hot, it will turn itself off. It's actually safer than lead, which surprises a lot of people. So that there's many <clears> benefits. <throat> Weight, double the power, all the usable power. Also, the fact that if you ever take these, you know, you've got a 110 amp power battery. We did a test about three or four weeks ago of one that we took back off an ambulance after nine months. We test, uh, fully charged it, put it on the bench, we put an inverter on it at 50 amp load and we actually pulled 98.9 amps over two hours out of it, out of a 100 amp battery. So it's lost 2%. Yes. Yeah. Well, and that's negligible because of the reading on the mm. battery, but at 50 amp load, um, and these batteries are being taken down flat and recharged very regularly without damage, whereas mm. if you do that with the lead, you would damage it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that was one of the things with the battery that you've got. Like yeah, when we're away, you, you can take it down to was it eleven point eight volts? Yeah, and then you're you're causing damage. So every time battery. below, you damage, sort of take yeah. a little chink yeah. out of it. Every yeah. time, and it would yeah. never come yeah. back yeah, up the just, same. So he's giving us a bit of a chart to give me an idea on voltage, uh, on voltage, and what it's capable of doing as well, which is quite good. So yeah, I mean, they say you can use fifty percent depth of discharge on a lead battery. You can if you want to run some LED lights, but. Due to the Puket's law effect, the more load you put on a battery, the less it can actually give you. Mm. So if you're running something low voltage, you'll get a lot longer. But if you put a TV on some heating and a few yeah. other things, you won't get 50 amps out of 100 amps. Yeah. So that's for sure. You, you might be near a 30, 35. Yeah, I know when my heater kicks in or even the fridge, because it's got a compressor fridge in yeah. there, it really does pull a drawer on it. It's, yeah. It drops quite and, a lot. And then your fridge will turn off and things will turn mm. off quicker yeah. than if you then had a lighter load, obviously. Yeah. But lithium seems to hold straight all the time and then just falls off a cliff at the very end. Um, you'll notice it with like a new cordless tool if you've got like a DeWalt or a Makita yes. drill. Yes, yeah, I've got a Makita, I use them at work. So you drill and you can use them fine and suddenly it's, it's just, just suddenly, dead. No, no yeah. notice, but, but it yeah. will give you everything to its last gasp of breath and yeah. then just die yeah. for a second. Asked. Yeah, that's cool. Whereas the old ones would sort of slow gradually. Mm. Uh, that's because they maintain 12 to 13 volts or, or nearly 95% of its yeah. capacity and amp hours and then just drop straight off. So you could charge that battery at 50 amps if you wanted to and charge it from flat to full in two hours. Yeah. Whereas in the old days, it's a trickle charge overnight, 18 hours really. Yeah, because so they're the sort of things yeah. that are sort of gobbledygook to me and probably you, you know, how much charge you can put into a battery and stuff yeah. like that. When you start talking maths and numbers, to the every average person, it doesn't mean anything. No. You know, well, you're, you're, you've got a DC to DC charge, yeah. which is a device that will create more will get more amps out of your alternator to charge your battery while you're driving. Uh, lead battery is charged with a small bulk or absorption sh stage and then it goes to float or trickle if you like. Yeah, yeah. But it's a lot longer, so it's a short bulk and a long trickle if mm -hmm. you like. With lithium it's the other way around. Yeah. So if your DC, you're driving somewhere and your lead battery is in float and it doesn't want to take a lot because it's in like a trickle charge, that drive may put virtually nothing in your battery. Mm -hmm. Whereas you will with this, you'll get so much more out of your DC to DC mm. charger. And your solar, you get 30% more out of your solar with lithium and NPPT than you would with lead because their lithium is more, I say it like a sponge, it doesn't suck power. It's but more but there's no resistance. Yeah. It, it just flows in easily. Right. There's no, ch no energy lost in the charging process. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. There's virtually no resistance in the charging process, so what you capture, virtually all of it goes in. There's not much loss. So if you're someone transition. more like me that does a shorter journeys, maybe from point to point for photography, um, it's going to get more charging than it would Definitely. be having to drive 200 miles to your next sort of campsite yeah. or whatever. Definitely charge quicker, <coughs> and then also that battery will last you if you look after it 15 years. Yeah. Mm. How many lead have you had in that time? If you change your vehicle, your mine's been in there just over two years, and it's already and it's already knackered. Totally so dying. actually, what yeah. looks a good deal can makes that look expensive, but if you buy two or three, you're yeah. almost up to that, mm -hmm. but not also that. It's all see, the inconvenience see, and see. hassle along the way. <laughs> see, I, yeah. I'm actually, when, when we drove in here this morning, I wasn't sure whether it was just Paul wanting the next best thing yep. with the battery, or whether there was genuinely a, 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 a fault with the solar panels and everything else. Is it Rob, the, the yeah. chap? That's, no, I'm not Rob. Who's, who's, the, who's the other <laughs> chap? Richard. Richard. Technician. I knew it began with an R. He's, he's checked it over thoroughly. Do you know what I mean? And that, mm. that's worth... Which is a good service. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really good service. And we know now that there are issues with that solar panel. Yeah. But the fact that 
for me, it's just like security of knowing that if we go off grid for a whole week or mm. two weeks or whatever, that that battery, regardless of what he charges, what lights we put on, what heating we have on, that that battery is going to see us through. Do you know what I mean? And we're not. It is. It's just one less worry. You, you can use every. If you need to, I mean, ideally you would take it down 80%. If you, in an ideal world, they would say take it down to 80%, leaving 20% power left in it. That's mm -hmm. what I mean by that. Yeah. And then you would recharge, recharge it back up. Okay. But you can, and most people do, because they do it with lead all the time. You take it to you use your lead battery till lights go off. Yeah. Uh, something fails. It happens to people all the time, which isn't ideal. But the thing is with that, with the lithium, because you've got about between 5,000 cycles, maybe 7,000 cycles, if you really look after it, which is about 12 years every day, using it every day, which you'll never do, no. fully charged and discharged every day. Is that what it means when you say a cycle? A cycle is, is a, full, it... a, full, a full discharge and a full charge back. Right, okay, yeah, because I always wonder what the, you know, when you right, see these yeah, cycles, sorry, yeah. so a cycle is then if you totally full discharge it. Yeah, right, okay. not take 10 amps out, put 10 back yeah, in. Yeah. That is just keep taking okay. the cream off the top. Yeah, that's something else I've learned. So a full yeah. cycle would be, and if you work it out, I think it was, I think it worked it out nearly 13 years Right. You did it every day, which you'll never yeah, okay. do. No, yeah. So, if you take it down and used 100 amps out of your 110 and took it to 90 percent, if you lost 100 of cycles off it or something, you'll never know. Yeah. Reality is, you know, in five, ten years, you will have another van. Technology will moved on or whatever. Mm. But that van will last. Sorry, that battery will last the life. That will last the van. van. Yeah. And if you change it in the next few years. Put a seventy pound cheap lead battery back in it and take lithium with you. Yeah. It's not a dead, uh, and you shouldn't. It's yeah, not a dead, yeah, that's, not, a dead that's something else I did sort of say. You know, if I did change a van even in a couple of years, yeah. I could take this battery with me and put the AGM or put another, yeah. you know, a, a yeah, lower grade battery cheap lead back in, which is fine, and, um, and, and take so, yeah. the investment with you. What happens then if, if you don't discharge it? You know, because like, if you're going to trickle, trickle charge it all the time from the solar panels. Yeah, it'll only what take. Happens, what, what happens? What happens? It only takes to charge it. Needs. It will sit Ever. there. The BMS, the built-in battery management system, it balances itself and, and looks mm -hmm. after itself. Mm -hmm. It will just not take any more charge. It, um, and do they sit longer as well? You know, like like say you've got vans outside. Um, yes. So if I wasn't to use it for like a month or something, because we don't live in the van, mm -hmm. so it's not being used daily. So if I don't use it for a fortnight, it's likely to sit there on a good charge, whereas my AGM yeah. tends to draw down. You know, I've got a, a reader on it at the moment. It just seems to suck, suck current out of it when it gets, you know, it's, it's not being used. Lead batteries self-discharge, as you know. You could charge a battery up, disconnect it, put it on your floor in your garage yeah. or on a bench, and go back to it in a month or two's time, and it will have gone down. Totally, yeah. Lithium does not self-discharge at that same rate. I think it's two percent a month, and that will be mainly the BM, the built-in battery management system Managing monitoring itself, itself yeah. using a minute mm -hmm. amount of millivolts a day. It's like your power tools, and you can leave them on the side yeah. and go and use them, and they're normally yes, always charged. Exactly. Yeah, um, it's, it's nominal, and also there's no damage. And it's certainly if you leave your van in storage, which mm. is handy for a lot of people. Yeah, they haven't got to worry. They can go back to it through winter. They can leave it three or four months, and, yeah. it's fine. and they'll have over eighty-five percent still in it or something. That's really a good point because um, I know a lot of people. You know, you have to charge them. I'll we'll make, we'll make sure everything's charged before we go on holiday. I'll make sure everything's charged before we go away. So yeah. this, you almost guarantee there's going to be a charge in it. More fit and forget. You can just jump in it, crack your mm -hmm. jump and drive. Yeah, that's mm. good. So that yeah, definitely hundred percent. You can leave it, not worry about it. They're very hardy and robust compared to mm. the I also got, got a couple of notes. I actually got a few notes as well. You know what I'm like? Um, zero maintenance, which you sort of almost come across. You know, zero maintenance, you basically plug them in and they look after yep. themselves. It can't be fitted in any orientation. So from that, I understand the fact that the batteries, my battery sits like this, but if I wanted to, I can stand it yep. up. Yeah, it is full of cylindrical cells. They are, there's no liquid, no, it's totally different chemistry. There's no, so you can no, make bigger no, batteries fit in different areas where you haven't got yep. the floor plan. We had them to st stood up on their end in a cupboard really? like yours yeah. on yeah. their end. We've had a big 216 amp sat up on its end because that's how it worked <clears> and configured. That's it. another great idea. Yeah, so you, you can, can get a bigger it, battery. Nothing, Someone that can only sit a small battery like that could yeah. actually sit a bigger battery taller. So we'll yeah, on the side regular. Yeah, yeah, that's a really well. good. We, we've had the 100 amps on the side under yeah, a seat. It yeah, is a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, just to be able to make them. Yeah. I mean, mine fits under the seat, so I can't, but if I was to stand it in the back, definitely go for a bigger on that battery. that as well. Yeah. Convince you, boo. It's a bit like your phone. I actually am. <laughs> it's a bit like your phone. You charge your phone in, but you yeah. know, it's upside down or front yes, way down. Yeah, or, yeah. It doesn't matter, does it? Any orientation. Yeah. And very much like that, if your phone goes flat, you just put the charger in the yeah. bottom and don't worry. You don't think I might ruin my battery. Mm. Yeah, 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 you yeah. may have taken a few cycles off, but in reality, were you, were you, you did, there are excess cycles that you'll never dip into. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll mention on. one thing because everybody mentions it, and I, I see it talked about so much is about cold. Yes. 
Actually, okay. I've just seen Lou's because they're on about going yeah. abroad, aren't they, into yeah. some serious cold weather. I had a good chat with Lou, and I said to her, look, you don't need it, okay, but they're, they're on a big winterisation process, but she did explain to me they're going to be in minus 20 and leaving a van for a day or two going off and mm -hmm. then returning to the van. I said, so fair enough, then the, if it, with no heating on and you're not in the van, the temperature could drop below minus Zero, whatever, whatever in, yeah. in, in the van. So on that, um, lithium can discharge at minus 20, so you can put it in a freezer bring it out the next day and put it on and run something, it won't hurt it. So, but they don't like being charged at below zero. Now that's the core of the battery, doesn't like being charged at below zero. Again, if your vehicle, if your battery is inside your vehicle and you're in it, I very doubt that the core of your battery will be below zero, otherwise your water and your taps will be frozen up, your whole, yeah. you know. And if your van is left and it's got solar and things like that, it's constantly being topped up when you're not using it anyway because there's no power coming out of it. And it's only if you run them right down and put a big charge in at below zero are you going to do some potential degradation of the battery. It's more when you've got them in an external locker outside with no insulation and a yeah, cold floor. Yeah. And then you're going to maybe start the engine up with a 30 amp or 60 amp DC to DC. Um, and then when you, if, it, if they're in the vehicle they get warmed up with the ambient temperature. So it's not a bigger problem as it's made out. And there's actually very few cases for the average motorhomer to need a heated battery. We do them now because of the demand and people worrying about it. But mm. We've only sold half a dozen to people doing special yeah, projects. Yeah, because they've just changed to a heated battery, haven't they? Yeah. So, you know, I've gone for a ski instructor who's going to leave his van up the mountain yeah, and yeah, half yeah. all day and all the rest yeah. of it. So, so yours will constantly be yeah, top top yeah, mine should be top 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 So when you get to start right. the van, there's not going to be a huge charge going in because yeah. they're already sat yeah. topping up yeah. more than they've... Uh, um, gone down, yeah. so it won't be it's a problem. It's enough to, enough to get the heating on, kick it off, yeah. get the battery warm. <laughs> and and the yeah. charge going through them creates a little bit of energy, the energy in the heat anyway and brings yeah. them up slowly. Yeah. So and we're not normally away from the van for a day anyway. If we're going to be in the, the it's only when it's, when it's left at home. It's minus five in yeah. when we're up to Scotland. So. Yeah, and that's outside, and that's yeah. not in the van. Yeah. 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 No, it definitely sounds like a good investment. So. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the I'm convinced that we, you're actually doing the right <laughs> thing this time. We conservatively say that one sort of one lead uh, one lithium equals two lead but in reality with a load on it if you're using a few more appliances like an inverter a tv and heating etc mm -hmm. you'll actually get more usable power than you would out of two yeah because of that load the more load you put on it the less you'll get from it you, you exactly. i know most people spend i don't know 20 30 up to 100,000 pound on a motorhome and it all depends on having power to run and enjoy it mm. and then they're mm. arguing over really between four or five hundred pounds more for a battery, but, it seems a bit but bizarre, it's, doesn't it? if you look at it over the time period and work it out that maybe over that period that they bought three batteries anyway, you get yeah. more, each bit you do, you're getting closer mm. to that purchase price, the outlay, but the return isn't just about money, it's about the pleasure and enjoyment it allows you to do more while camping. More yeah, yeah, it. yeah, definitely. You say the peace of mind, the peace of mind on, on, yeah. on, on the campsite, you know, 30, 40 quid on the campsite, how many nights of that? 10 nights of that. Yeah. It's See, we don't even use hookup, do we? We're not a campsite no. person, we don't use the hookups, but again, so it, it's, it's more. Unless you need a shower, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah no, but, it definitely sounds like a. For the, a lot of people that do, who can't last very long and do have to go to sites for that purpose, they're paying. 30, 40 pound a night just yeah. for a bit of electric. Yeah. If they did 10 nights a year at that, that's 400 pound a year saved yeah. towards their system. Yeah, that's soon get it back. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's it's not yeah. that. Sounds good. Um, yeah, so, convinced. you've actually heard it from the horse's mouth well, as well. Yes. I've seen lots of videos about the, uh, the EcoTree lithium batteries, but I've never never actually sat down with anyone and spoke about it. I'll say Rob's, Rob knows all about them, so uh, there's some good information on it. And I will be doing a fit. I'm going to show you how I'm going to fit mine in the van. This video is probably turned into a bit of a long one. I'm hoping the volume's been all right because we had a mic die on me. Um, but yeah, I will be fitting it. I will be changing it. I fit the Victron Smart Solar MPPT. Smart controller. Solar MPPT. Um, I'm going to fit that myself. I've got some more cables to run in, and I'm going to split off from what I've got at the moment. So I'm running two separate units and change the battery. So I will be showing you that as I do it. Thank you, Rob, You're for the time. And, and do, uh, do let us know how you go on because it should oh, be yeah. night and day and I'd be really intrigued definitely, to see how much yeah, longer yeah, you definitely, get. Yeah, definitely be giving you more feedback and stuff like that from it as well. And like Rob showed us this morning as well, when, you, when you've got uh, these different solar chargers as well, like the Victron, you can actually get uh, a Bluetooth onto your phone so you can get all the information. So 
Rob got a, an email or a message from Will. Will last night, um, yeah. He sent a message saying, is this doing okay? Is this working right? He brought up his screenshot on his phone and you can see all the charging, all the powers and Rob and Richard and that know that from what the readings are saying, whether it's working all right. So stuff like that's really good, which is another reason why I'm changing to the Victron. So I'm getting more, um, a, more of a better system to know what's going on in the long run. So, But there is a little bit more information about these batteries as well that I want to try and get across um, to why these things are better in the long run. Uh, not so much initial outlay, but for the longer term user and owner. So again, over to you, Rob. Yes, I did that on the end with the cameras. <laughs> but, um, the average lead battery, um, they state around the manufacturers, children 50 full cycles per battery, the life expectancy. Yep, let's get that sort of mentioned that I've got some stuff off the, the internet, but I'll be putting this up on the screen for you so you can see it. And then, you know, at 80%, 80% depth of discharge, so using 80% of 100 amps, you would expect a minimum of 4,000 cycles. So if you equate that, you would need 16 lead batteries to equal one lithium, yep. just in cycles alone. Um, and albeit that's very conservative on 4,000 yep. cycles. Yep. Further to that, there is the um, total amp hour comparison. So if you work out 4,000 cycles, at 80% depth of discharge, that would mean 80 amps on a 100 amp battery times 4,000 would give you that figure, 320,000 yeah. amp hours total. And you would need 14 and a half, we worked out 14.5 lead batteries to equal the same amount of total amp hours usable from that one battery, which is over two grand. So which is massive, this is, really. there's so many things that add up that yeah. overall equal a greater benefit time and cost yeah. to the lithium, going, going for the lithium, um, and there's the weight as well, that might be somewhere yeah. else, this. you know, you need th three, two, uh, about two, half the weight, yeah, so two two batteries on, on weight, uh, yeah. to, to one lithium. I think it's Lou's van, they had two batteries, didn't they? Yeah. And they took them both out and put the one van, one one battery in, you can see it on there, yeah. it's quite impressive actually, the amount of weight saving and space. And it, it, getting them in and out, I mean, it's not so bad if you only do it every few years, but I mean, they're not easy to manoeuvre these things. No, yeah. And people live in it now, there's so many people living in vans that will really get the benefit if you're going for long periods or a trip around Europe, and you're going off, you know, um, the ability to wild camp, you're going to get, you're going to save 30, 40 pound a night on, on campsites. Yeah. There's a number of things yeah. that you can talk about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they sound. They sound. The, the, the initial price is it almost. Yeah, it almost sounds silly not to have one. Yeah, you know, if you work it out. Yeah, I use my van for weekends, yeah. so I'm only going away for two or three days. But I'm using a lot of power. I've got my drone to charge, video yeah. to charge, uh, um, laptops running. I've got the fridge running. I've got the heater when it's the winter time. Lot, yeah. um, my camera batteries and stuff like that. So I'm I'm using a lot of power yeah. in a short amount of time. And we've recently, I mean. Even adding an inverter, it'd be beneficial for an inverter as well. Because, Definitely. I mean, we've got the jackeries that yeah. Denise is now, we've got some small curling tongs and a hairdryer that she can use on that. But if you had an inverter... You wouldn't need that. You wouldn't, you know, And the space of them, they've got to be put somewhere, the jackeries, they're yeah. great. But if you have an inverter... <coughs> yeah, it's carrying a jackery around, around, whereas inverters... You, you wouldn't need it. Yeah, yeah. So, they're not cheap, the jackeries and things like that. They're no, great, no. they are great. But, but again, not, yeah, a jackery, I mean, I've got, you know, the 1,000 watt jackery, um, which is great. But you're looking at a thousand pound, and there's your battery. Well, that's one one hundred amp battery yeah. and an inverter yeah. for less. Yeah, uh, all good. There's there's a lot of benefits. Yeah, definitely. I totally agree with the benefits. I'm hiding Denise behind my face. So I can't see myself. Um, I am going to go back and fit this. I know I mentioned it before, but I was going to mention it again just in case my video did mess up. I'm going to go back and fit this myself. Um, I'll be fitting it underneath the seat where my other one is. I've got the same battery. I'm, I've got a hundred amp Ten. power. 110 amp, power, 110 amp power, replacing my 120 but with twice the amount of power. Um, so it's going to fit in the same place under the seat. I'm also changing my MPPT um, because yeah. mine's not doing a very good job for the Victron smart meter one. Smart solar. Smart solar. And I'm also putting in a Victron meter smart uh, battery, shunt, battery smart monitor. shunt battery monitor. So that's going to give me a, a reading and so I can basically keep an eye on what's going on with battery. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you when we get digging and unscrewing and bolting and I'm going to show you how it all goes together, hopefully. 
Um, so thank you, Rob. You're welcome for that. No uh, really been pretty good. It's good. So the horse is actually talking to the horses <laughs> straight from the horse's mouth because horse. she doesn't believe. <laughs> she doesn't she believe anything that I say. Yeah. I think she feels a little bit better. She's yeah, very skeptical. Yeah, she's very skeptical because, like she did say at the beginning, I do like to. See, I see things like I'll see some of these van bills and I think, oh, I want one of them. Like and and pie, shiny, I know, I yeah, it. if it's shiny, I've got to have it. It's definitely shiny. I've got to have it. So yeah, uh, thank you for that. You're really, welcome. really good. And uh, do you want to say anything there quickly? I'm I'm happy. She's I'm, happy. I'm convinced. I'm happy. Brilliant service here, anyway. Thank you. So. Yeah, we've had happy two cups of coffee well yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, happy wife, happy life. I've heard that said a few times. So, all right, I'll see you under the van somewhere. Or, yeah, definitely not here. Ciao. See you in a bit. Don't know why I said that. I'm going to carry on. Bye. <laughs>I did say why I was here I was gonna have a nose around this van. I absolutely I found this online and this is an absolute stonker. It's got an electric step. Look at this, it's got an electric step. <laughs> I just guessed where the button was. But this is beautiful. Look at this for a van. Now see I've seen the pictures of this and this is just something else. Loads of storage. We've got roof lights, we've got twin captain seats, or definitely at least one. We've got a sofa. So we've got a sofa in here that we can use. Beautiful sink, drawers, proper cooker. Loads of storage cupboards. And look at this, big double bed. Now I know underneath this, if you just lift it up, I think there's storage, but you might have to do it. You lift that up there and this is all storage underneath here. This is brilliant. I would love something like this. A mount up here for the TV absolutely amazing and it's not that big what about the shower babe you've got a shower and yeah, toilet yeah there's a shower look at that shower toilet mirror sink vanity mirror here with a little light in it the power's probably off at the moment oh absolutely beautiful wine rack <laughs> what do you think babe can we have one no nope, not yet oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's not going to let me have one just yet even got a microwave so it's designed for hookups and stuff. You've got an under, underneath um, extractor for your cooker. Beautiful, really, really, really nice. All your management system. Mm. It's nice. <laughs> it is nice, but we can't afford one of these yet. It's got an awning, full LED lights, cycle rack on the back. Look, it's even got a cycle rack on the back. Oh, I definitely want one. <laughs> This must be for when you get breakfast in bed, is it? <laughs> breakfast in bed? Yeah. Or breakfast on the bed. <laughs>